friends today we will try something that we previously introduced with some of you it's Vizmi Vizmi is a place where you can create interactive infographics which means you can print them but also you can present them with animation and everything I'm going to log in with the ICT lab account and now since we have a lot of wow this is interesting 4 million users they're celebrating we have previous uh, presentations and infographics that were created by by your friends in grade 5 today we're going to create a new one as well I'm going to click on create I'm going to choose infographic and we are going to learn how to create a timeline all of us okay so creating a timeline is important because sometimes you want to explain the process for something to your friends and to do that you can either search over here for timeline or you can look down and create it from here um, I can see that there's one over here I'm going to choose the easy one over here I'm going to click edit and now I will have this it will show you of course the tutorial you can watch it and learn how to do things but also you can click OK got it and then you start so here you have different things so why we're using a you why we're using this template it's because it will facilitate for you how to create a timeline in a fast way you already have the text boxes you have everything whereas if I open a new tab and go to Vizme again if you go to Vizme and you just choose an empty template if I choose infographics and then I choose a blank one a blank one means you have to create everything from scratch that's why going to the second tab that's why we choose a template and we modify it in order to become something that is uh, that will serve our need so I'm going to create a fast timeline for you guys and you're going to use it later on for uh, exhibition for a presentation in your unit anything so let's say that we are going to talk about the ICT plan for this unit okay unit 3 let's say that uh, let's say look at the unit it cho chose over here so I'm going to move it you see you have to place it on the border and you move it this way I placed it up now here I'm going to write down timeline okay this is the timeline for our ICT plan the background is coffee for sure I don't want this background so I'm going to change the background and make it something different I might choose let's say hmm maybe over here it has a keyboard let's say or I can type here computer and search it will give me options so I'm going to choose one of them here's one I click on it and it shows over here as a background later on now those graphics those we call them graphics those graphics are are not really um, uh, they do not suit this this timeline because it's coffee beans so I'm going to remove those and you click on it and then you click delete in the keyboard or you can click on this garbage bin so I'm going to click delete in the keyboard and over here and over here and I can go to graphics on this side click on it and I can choose icons you see the icons you can choose icons from here you can search if you want <coughs> let's see if we have something about computers computer oh we have so I'm going to choose scroll down oh okay I'm going to choose this you click on it and then it shows over here I'm going to place it in the middle and now I modified it and made it my own I can change the color of course so I'm going to choose something like that and then over here I have the timeline 
of course I'm going to have to change the name the titles and the text only so I just double click inside and to highlight it all I del I and now I delete and then type what I want to type but let's start with the first one since we are at the beginning of this unit I don't like the font over here, so I'm going to click and hold, select it all. I'm going to extend it and make it bigger, like that for example. 36 is very big actually, so I'm going to choose 30. Not bad actually. Let's try a different font. No, I don't like that. Hmm. This one. I'm going to color it in white. Uh, the direction is not really suiting this, so I'm going to make the direction. I need to select it all first. And then the direction, let's just make it this one, this way okay and this one also i'm going to change the direction and make it like that i think it's okay this way yeah all right now i can put bullets if i want so over here you highlight it all you can put bullets to organize it better you see and you can choose what kind of bullets you want all right So that's what we are going to learn in this unit. Let's just put Bowtoon this way. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how to write Bowtoon. So in this case, I go to a new tab and I search for Bowtoon. Let's see how they write it. Uh, so it doesn't have to be capital. So I go back to the project. Oh, I don't like the brown in the background, so I'm going to click outside over here and I'm going to choose a color, a dark color. Maybe not really dark. Let's see over here. Red. Now that I'm done and I wrote what I want to do, after this we we don't need this one so if i don't want something i'll just click on it and i click on the garbage bin you see all of this i can also select like that to select multiple things if you noticed i select both and i click and i'm going to move this up a little bit now oh, i moved it only in here so i'm going to undo going to select all of this you see how and I'm going to move them up because when you select it all you're going to be moving them as one object Now, you see what we did? I'm done. So now I'm going to save. Oh, I did not title it. I'm just going to title it with my name. Save. After I save, I can go to download. You see this? You can download it. And since we have a subscription already, we can uh, download it using PDF if we want. Anything from here. And this is everything we learned today about Vizme. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if it was a long video, but it's worth it, I think. Have a nice day. Bye.